In this video, it's a pretty slow night. You'll see that in the beginning I started out downtown Phoenix, but what you don't see because I made a mistake and when I started my recording I didn't hit the actual button that picks up my vocals. So I did a couple of lift rides before that. And I, you know, it was really good content. I think it was good content. I recorded a couple of lift rides, but because it didn't come through, I had to cut that stuff out. And I'm not going to sit there and try to narrate through it. It just, it didn't happen. So I'm starting downtown in this video and you'll see how, even in, if your market is the same way, it, it was really slow. Crap rides coming out. They were sending out a ton of rides that weren't worth taking, not worth your time. No surge was out there. And they were doing everything they could do to kind of push us to take bad rides. I didn't take bad rides. I waited till my reservations came out and I did my reservations the next morning. But I'm not going to sit up there and take bad rides just because that's all they're sending us. Friday night. Look at it. 270 miles to limit. Three quarters of a tank since the last time I drove this thing a few days ago. Uh, 7.18 p.m. Time to go out and see how much money we can make in this city tonight. I'm downtown right now. 225 surge on Uber. Let me go over the lift real quick. See what lifts got jumping over here. Hold up for a second. Let me see what you guys gonna get. I'm in the bonus zone right now. All right, let's turn on lift real quick. See what they got. Hit that button right there. They trying to give me a ride way out in the middle of nowhere. That's what they trying to do. But I'm not taking that. Nah, nah, nah. Sixteen dollars right off the bat. Nope, not doing it. That's them. They trying to get all the nature hike people out right off the bat. They getting all the nature hikes going. It's like, nope, we're not taking those. We're looking for all short trips right now. Let me do something real quick while I'm inside of here. Eleven dollars for that? No, let's not do that. I'm trying to get my uh my filter set up. They'll let me set it. They don't like doing that shit. Stay within an area. Set filter. Save. Set filter. All right. Let's see what they end up giving me right now. Nope, not doing it. See, that's the thing. It's a filter to be set, but they're gonna keep giving you shit outside of that filter, perhaps, maybe. $10 for four miles. Uh, no, I don't like that. I don't like that ride. I said, I'm going to get something a little bit better than that. Let's get something better than what they were giving out. $9 for that. I like that. Let's do that ride. Okay. So we'll take... Oh, they didn't give it to me? Oh, yeah, they gave it to me. All right. But the thing is, is I'm in the left turn lane right now, so I can't go straight. I got to turn and then go up, so... There we go with that shit again. They never give me a ride in the lane that I'm in. That's the fucked up part. I always got to do some like old finagly shit just to get around. So I got to go up what? Second Street or something like that? Yeah. Go around, hit Second Street. I'll go up and pick up Shamra. And then let's see what other rides I get. Koi concert is going where it's just ended. And there's a lot of short hops coming out of there. I did two of them real quick. But the last one took me kind of while because, man, it was so much traffic down there. This was it right here. It took 14 minutes because it was so much traffic, only like almost three miles. But like I said, leaving the Joe Coy concert, 3.30, 4.13, that's what these fares are. And that's the surges on the 525 and 6. It should be way higher than that, way higher for leaving a concert. Like I said, it, that was, you know, almost three miles for nine bucks. It's like $3 a mile right there. The next one was roughly about the same. So I'm sitting there like, man, what the hell is going on? How come Lyft and Uber ain't paying shit for these concerts and all this stuff, man? They're like being real skimpy with the fucking money. But I had to, I thought I could get out of there a little bit. So I took those rides just to kind of high tell it down some. But it's like, man, it ain't shit up there. It's just straight fucking garbage. Garbage. Wait a minute. And then I got a private ride out of it, though. So I linked up with these people. And they're like, oh, do you do private rides? I'm like, yeah, I do private rides. Oh, perfect, perfect. Because we we just moved down here. And we always need rides like from dinner. And this, I was like, cool, because I kind of live close to downtown. It was like, perfect. We're going to start texting you and calling you, let you know. So, you know, we'll give you like $30, $40. I was like, what? Like, hell yeah. For these short rides, let's do it. Let's do it. Like I said, that's why I love private rides, man. People are willing to pay good money for a private ride. But the apps, like right now, it should be surging on Uber. There it is right there. But there's no surge downtown. All the rides are downtown. Crazy traffic downtown. Crazy traffic. But it's not a single surge. Like all the way on the highway is a surge. But there's nothing in central downtown right there. That's why I'm like, I don't know what the hell's going on with these apps, man. They're not paying nothing right now. So I turn that shit off. Damn it. Hold up for a second. Come on, thing. Okay, what you got over here to lift? What you got? Eight bucks for that? No, I'm cool on that shit. It's like, no, it's like $5 for like $5. No, I'm cool on that shit. 
It's like I'm not doing no no anything that's like two dollars a mile. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. They got to do something better than that. Like nine dollars for that, I wouldn't want to do that either. Cause they're not paying shit for these rides. Nothing. There's no like you know twenty four dollar ride for like five miles. You're not seeing that shit. They're they're being real fucking. They're charging these people you know forty fifty dollars to get out of this concert, but they're paying drivers nine dollars. It's like no, I'm not taking that shit. No, I'm not. Paying thirty five dollars for little short hops and forty dollars for little short hops, but they're giving drivers eight or nine dollars. It's like how are you charging people all of this money to get out of these places, but you're giving us six dollar surges on three dollar rides. That shit don't make no sense. If anything, give us fifteen, sixteen, twenty dollar surges on these rides. They're charging people an arm and a leg to get out of these places and ain't giving drivers nothing. That's why I'm like, nope, I ain't taking none of that shit. None of it. Just let it all sit down there. Like I said, I'll do some short hops. That's it. $3 a mile or something like that. Cool. Like, look at that shit. Nine, that's nine miles for $12. Nah, I'm cool. Nope, not even doing it. Not even doing it. And it's like, they're just not doing like well when it comes to getting these rides like out of there like $15 $15 is like nobody's gonna be taking this shit because it's not they're not worth anything and then uber's not even surging at all so i'm like no nah, i'm cool man let me see if something with uber because so i want to see if they'll if they'll like send just a good ride without surge added let's see for it all right let's go here i'm gonna go right back on uber i'm gonna see if they send a good ride with no surge at all Let's see what Lip is talking about up here. Nope, $12, five miles. No, I'm cool on that shit. What's Uber talking about over here? $13 for like eight miles? Nope, nope. Let's shut that down real quick. We're not dealing with Uber. Uber's not doing much. $9 for that? Let's take that. $9 for about two miles? I'll take that. They better be there, because I'm telling you, if they not there, I'll kick that shit out real quick. $9 for a couple of miles? Yeah, let's go. We could do that. That's not a problem at all. But, let me see. where they. hope they're not on Washington. All right, cool, cool. I can curve around. That's on Central. All right, bet. Right on Central. Let's do it. Let's go down to Central and pick up John. Sitting here at the pickup pen, but my car looks like it's over there. But I'm at the pickup pen. This dude, I have no idea where he is. But I've been waiting for like a minute or so. I don't know if he's on his way or what. But it looks like he's just kind of like aimlessly walking somewhere. Probably just gonna cancel this shit and keep it moving. I said I don't know where this dude is. It's like, eh, fuck it. I'm gonna cancel this shit. I'm done. I'm I'm not doing it. I'll just he'll have to get another fucking ride. I don't like that shit. Like, be at the pickup pen or I got to get fucking going. Like I said, I'm not one of them riders that's going to sit around and fucking wait. I don't do that shit. You got to keep it moving around here. So, yeah, he's probably behind me somewhere. No, I'm not doing that either. Nope. Definitely not doing that shit because I drive. Man, I'm not. I'm standing in this area down here. It's like pretty good pickups. It's good money and shit down here. Like, that's okay. All right, we could do that right there. I like that. But of course, I gotta go north, I gotta turn here. Cool, let's go down to Chambers and pick somebody up down there. Oh, hopefully the road's not blocked. I'll find out in a second. Yeah, I'll find out in a second if it's blocked. All right, it's 10.43. What, Saturday night. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing on miles right now. Uh, I'm sitting around. Just a little less than a half a tank right now. It's 1043, like I said. A little less than a half a tank of gas. I'm going to probably run this out Saturday night. I'm not working tomorrow. I've been having issues with my car the other night. Like, let me show you what I was doing the other night. And I ended up, you know, seeing... Wait a minute. Let me make sure this thing ain't on that. Yeah, it's not on Wi-Fi no more. All right. Yeah, I was sitting there. You know, this is what happened up under my car the other night. I got a big old wet spot, but it was bigger than that. So it slowly, the leak was getting smaller and smaller, but there was some coolant leaking out. So I filled up my coolant and my reservoir tank and all that stuff. And I mean, the whole undercarriage was like wet, like cooling everywhere. That puddle was like probably five times the size of that. That's small. And that was this morning. So I don't know if it was just a glitch or something happened to my car, like the thermostat got stuck or something weird and the overflow happened. But my car doesn't leak. It's not leaked since I bought it. And that's cooling up under the car. Like I said, that spot was big. It was like the size of a Frisbee. 
And I, I was like, holy shit, my thing's leaking coolant. So I was like, yeah, let me fix this. So I put some of this in there for right now. I put like a half a bottle of that in there. And it seems to be doing fine. Like maybe it was just like something just hung up. Like maybe a seal or a gasket or O-ring or something. But I mean, I had it parked. And it was like a, a good steady drip. It wasn't like, you know, a barely drip drip like what you just saw. It was like somebody like turned the cold water on kind of slow. And it was like drip, 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 drip. Almost a straight stream just dripping. So something was leaking pretty good up under there. So I didn't drive at all. And this is what happened to my damn tire. That's, so I got new tires coming in because I got that big old knot right there happening on the side of my tire. So I got new tire coming in. <laughs> it's like, man, my life is just a mess right now. <laughs> But hey, shit happens. This is what we do out here. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do. Let me start getting these ragged ass app cranked up. See what the hell they got in store for us tonight. Damn, I'm online already. Oh shit. I don't know how long I've been online. I must have had Paw Patrol on and sh no telling. Let me see. How long have I been online? Let me see something. If they'll show me what my online time is for the day. It's Saturday. I don't know how you can see online time. Who knows? Who knows? I've probably been online. Shit, no telling when I turn that thing on. No telling. Wow. All right, I guess so. Oh, this is where you can see driving time. Oh, it says 12 hours available. Okay. So I must have just had it online. And I guess if you don't move at all, then it doesn't give you, it doesn't add your time. So this thing's been on for a minute. Damn. Okay, I see what you mean. So I got a little surge down the street from me and shit like that. Let me I'm gonna back the car up a little bit. Like I said, I've been working on this leak all day and I had it to where it stopped. So, I mean, it was as soon as I would start the car up, it would start leaking. Just like that steady drip would come. So now I've backed the car up a little bit. It's at, um, it's cooled. It's heated up to like, you know, half right now. So I'm sitting pretty right now. Like the temperature is good. So the temperature is already halfway up. So it should be a leak out there if it's still leaking. And nope, no leak. It's completely dry. Now that was the spot that it leaked yesterday morning. That big ass spot right there. I just had it sitting up here, so there's no leak out here at all. That's just like a dark spot that was up there earlier. But yeah, my car doesn't leak. But it had that huge spot right there last night. I was like, holy shit. And I mean it started running down the driveway and everything. It was it was a mess. It was crazy. So I guess it's done leaking. You can see like earlier how I got everything's all wet out here. I had everything soaking wet, hosed everything down, had the whole undercarriage apart in the damn car. Man, I was like, what? But usually like as soon as you turn the car on and start running, it would just start dripping. But now I guess it's done. It's not doing it now. So everything's probably fine. Like I said, I put that leak stuff in there. I ran it through a few times, let it process, did exactly what the instructions said. So the car is probably better right now. Like I said, if it was like an O-ring or a seal or something, just had like a small seat to it, it probably sealed it up. Because, I mean, the car is not running hot at all. It runs normal. It's not running hot, so I don't think it's a stuck thermostat or nothing like that. But it's just something. I don't know what it was. But right now I got the coolant in my trunk. I got all the stuff in my trunk just in case I got to fill it up on the road. But, yeah. So far, so good. Like I said, by now it'll be a little puddle in the damn driveway because that's how it was doing. Okay, so I'm cruising down the street. Let's turn on Lyft real quick. Let's see what they're going to start throwing at us. I'm going to go over here to Uber as well. I'll throw Uber on just to make sure they're not... I'll take, take it off of Uber Pet, put it on regular. Man, there's no surge out there at all. Saturday night, Jesus Christ. Let's see what they got over here. $18 for like 22 miles. Nah, we cool on that. We're not doing that. We don't drive like that, no. Somebody's throwing a big old birthday party in the backyard. Jumpers in everywhere. Yeah, so I unlocked the $1.50 surge. They actually let me touch the surge. They probably think, hey, give them some surge or else he ain't going to take a ride. $1.50 ain't enough. I'm sorry. I'm not messing with a $1.50. Yeah, but that kind of worried me about my car. But everything seems to be fine. Like I said, all day I've been working on this car, just trying to make it leak again. I haven't been able to replicate that leak. But when I first, when I stopped last night, I parked in a driveway and it just was dripping like a steady stream. Like I said, the size of a Frisbee, it was pretty big. And I was like, holy shit, something's wrong with my car. So what was that? About 15 miles for $12? Nah, we cool on that shit. We don't do that. And so I was like, man, I got to get on it. So I woke up early this morning, took the whole bottom undercarriage off, started, I jacked it up, put it up on jacks and everything. $4 for four miles. Nah, we ain't doing that. I'm cool. Let's turn lift off real quick. They don't have nothing going on right now. Let's just turn them off. 
nope, $17 for like 24 miles? No, we're good. I already turned you off already. You good. Yeah, but no, I, I had the whole bottom of the car off and everything. God damn it, come on. Let's go like this. Had the whole bottom of the car off. Everything was cool, you know. Looked up in there, I could see like it was coolant like around the base of the engine where it was like leaking and dripping. And I was like, okay, there's coolant coming from somewhere. Straight above it, there was like this little weird engine part. I don't know what it is. I got to look that up. But it was coolant like around that. So I'm like, maybe it's a housing or something like the coolant's running through that. Then it was another part like the uh the actual thermostat housing i gotta find out where that is so i can inspect that i don't know where that is on my car so i'll find out and inspect that but for right now i can't replicate the leak so i'm not really worried about it i can't replicate it i'm not worried about it all day it hasn't put another spot in my driveway but when i was doing all the inspection and doing the run and everything it put that little small like little quarter size like half dollar size leak up under there and i was like okay so it's still got a leak somewhere it ain't leaked since though so i'm good I drove it around the day, parked it in the driveway, no leaks, the, the coolant's full and everything else like that, so I'm not really stressing it right now. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, they got something going on downtown Phoenix right now. What do they got? What do they got going on down now? Don't know, because they won't open it up for me. Whatever. Don't open it if you don't want to, but I'm headed back down there right now. Go see what they got going on downtown. Do some short rides or something like that. You know, I got appointments set early morning, some airport reservations. So I'll do those early in the morning. I think it's about $60 worth of reservations I got to do in the morning. So I'll get to that. Here's my reservations in here. And they start at around doo -doo -doo, about what, three something? Yeah, three o'clock in the morning. So they're going to start around three. I'll start my reservation. So I got a three, two, no, that's that's those things there. All right. Here are my reservations are. They started like four. All right. Four, four forty. Again at six ten. And that's my last one right there, I think. Yeah, because they trying to give me that one right there. I don't want that one. Five miles for thirteen dollars on North 40th. Uh, I'm still debating that. I'm still debating it. So I'll probably think about it. Like I said, if, if I when I if it's still there when I'm doing my four forty, I'll probably take it. But if it's not there, I'll let somebody else take that one. I don't really want that one anyways. Yeah, here we go, man. These ragged ass apps tonight. Out stealing people's money and shit, man. They out jacking us for our money. Let's see what they get me for tonight. Yeah, but then on Lyft, check this out. So I did a ride the other night on Lyft. I cashed out of everything. I was like, cool, cashed out of everything. Opening this morning, it was 20 bucks sitting in there. I was like, what? $20. So that little short ride I did last night, the lady gave me a $20 tip. I was like, what? There it is right there. Bam. This ride right here. $29 for like less than three miles right there. I was like, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Awesome lady. It was a couple of couples. It was two couples. So I picked them up and they lived, like I said, they were right north of downtown. So I dropped them off. We was laughing and joking and cracking up the whole time. Whole cool people, cool people. So they end up this morning, I guess they end up tipping me 20 bucks this morning. I was like, thank you. Appreciate you, Lyft, for not jacking me and giving me one dollar, you raggedy motherfuckers. Always giving me one dollar. So I'm like, I know my rides be good, man. I don't be giving no one dollar rides. I know that shit. So they finally probably they probably feel guilty about what's going on up in New York. Like, you know what? Other states are about to start this shit, so we need to quit while we're ahead. Because, yeah, y'all about to get hit up with a lot of money from a lot of states. We can get these attorney generals to kind of look into shit right now. So, yeah, Lyft, y'all y'all on deck right now. Y'all better watch your ass. Y'all on deck right now. All right, so I'm headed downtown right now. They gave me something behind me. I'm not going to get that. No, that's that's all over about almost six miles right there anyways. You know, over four miles for that. No, I'm not going backwards. Nope, I'm, I'm going forward. Like I said, I don't like doing that U-turn and shit. I can't stand that. Give me something that's in front of me and I'll go get it. Give me something behind me, I'm going to think about it. It's like you got to make it worth something. All right, what, $11 for like 11 miles? No, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, we're not doing that. Sorry. All right. Let's see if we can get over in traffic right here. Now that I drove down the highway, I'm going to cruise up here to the Circle K. Give me a crusty Dusty real quick. And while I'm getting it, because that's going to be my dinner. What, $13 for like 12 miles? No, nah, I'm cool. That's almost 13 miles anyway. Nope, we ain't doing that. I just got downtown. I'm going to hang out down here for a minute. But I'm going to pull over, take a look up under the car to make sure nothing's leaking, and then I'll be good. 
$10 for 10 miles? Nah, cool. We cool on that. We cool on that. $10 for like seven miles? Nah, we cool on that too. They're not giving me, they, they're just spinning right now. They're sending me so much, they, they're overlapping their own like requests. It keeps spinning. So it's like, no. Like I'm declining them so fast. They keep sending them. I'm declining them. <laughs> it's like, get it together, y'all. Get it together. All right, seven dollars for like what was that three miles? Mm, yeah, let's do that. We'll do that real. Oh shit, it's on Washington, I think. It better not be on Washington. If it's on Washington, I'm declining that shit. I'm straight get rid of it. All right, so I gotta drop down and head to the east a little bit. Go pick up somebody on Washington. Doesn't look like it's too bad. If it's where I think it is, then she's in the right spot. Yeah, she's probably in the right spot right now. Yep, she's in the right spot. It's the other way. All right, because if it was going to the west, yeah, I would have been, no, no, no. We ain't going west. I could go pick her up east or whatever. They better not add a stop or try to change the trip or no shit like that. I'll tell you that right now. So I'd be like, nope. Ain't nobody got time for that. So far, the car seems like it's running normal, like I said. But it was running normal last night when it was leaking, so I'm not really worried about it. It's just the fact that I don't know how long it was leaking last night. Could have been leaking for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. I don't even know. But I know I got in that driveway. I was like, oh, shit. My Beamer's sick right now. What? But me, like I said, I don't worry about shit. I swap engines out. A leak is normal. I got, I've had leaks in some of everything I've ever owned. A leak is not a bad thing. It just means you got to seal something up like an O-ring or a gasket or something because fluid is usually contained. And like I said, it could be something cracked. It could be a hose cracked. It could be a piece of plastic cracked. It could be anything. Something got brittle and old. So like I said, I got 101,000 miles on this thing now. So things are going to start cracking. Things have been heating up and cooling off for a long time. So it's time to start thinking about getting replacement parts. And I might just get upgrades. If there's upgrades out there, I'll get the upgrades for it. Because I'd rather get the performance part and run. Because if the stock can run 100,000 miles, performance will run me about 150, 200,000. So I'm like, cool, let's do it. And I'd rather do the repair once, not twice. Get it out the way. But that's just me. That's just me. All right, let me cruise over here real quick. I will hit y'all back in a second. I'm going to listen to me some music. I wonder where these people are coming from. Because I'm not going to be doing those 6 $7 trips all night long. Hell no. Ain't nobody got time for that. Motherfucker. Yeah, it's crazy busy down here right now. Man, it is crazy busy down here. But it's like, gee, so it must be some event. I know the bar just dropped him off. Fat guy, shit, a line around the corner. But they keep sending me shit like this. They're trying to get me away from downtown. I'm just trying to be downtown doing short rides. $13 for like 16 miles. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to stay right where I'm at. Especially all night. Because there's going to be some crazy shit down here tonight. I already know it. I already know it. Right, I'm going to pull over here and look up under my car just to make sure it's not leaking. Yeah, because I got. I just want to check it real quick. Because like I said, I'm, I'm still babying her right now. I'm still babying her right now. So let me see something real quick. Take a look up. <laughs> Perfectly dry. That's what I'm talking about. Nine dollars six miles. I don't want that shit anyway. It's like seven miles down there. Yeah, but it's perfectly dry up under there, so I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, I'm not doing no more $6 trips. Nope, I'm not. Fuck that. We we elevating the game tonight. There's too much shit going on down here. They trying to give me surge, but they making all these trips $6. I'm not doing these fucking trips like that. They got to get this money up some. Nope, not doing that either. Shit, they going to have to give me, no, nah, fucking elevate my shit a little bit. Y'all got to give me a little more money. Because I'm not going to be doing six, $7 trips all motherfucking night. See, shit like that. That's the shit they own tonight, six, seven dollars. So that's four dollars for almost four miles, and they give me a three dollar surge on it. It's like we're not doing that. You know what? We're gonna turn this shit off real quick. Let's turn that off. Cause I don't think they're ready yet. They're not ready yet. Let's go over to UberX, see what UberX is doing. Cause I mean, these motherfuckers lift will six and seven dollar your ass to death. And I'm not trying to do that. I mean, at least, you know, like good thing, you know, the other lady slid, slid me a $20 bill on that little trip. That was a short trip. It was like a $9 trip or something like that. So she slid me that 20, made it all good. But I had a $5 surge on that when the trip was $4. So it kind of helped me out. They got to start giving me some $9 trips, man. Start doing something because I'm not going to be sitting here getting nickel and dime all fucking night. It's like, I just rather not even drive. My car is taking a beating because of this shit. Look, there's an event going on right now. What's the event? They're not telling me what the event is. Oh, raggedy motherfuckers, tell me what the event is. 
Man, I'm so happy my car is not leaking right now. Man, that shit scared me last night. I was like, come on. But see, leaks ain't really that bad. Leaks are not that bad. It's bad when you have a loss of compression. Because a loss of compression means that's your head gasket. That's either a, a spark plug cylinder, a head gasket. It could be a piston ring. It could be anything. Because once you lose compression, you're losing power. And you got to really dig into the engine. I wasn't losing no compression. Everything was running fine. It was just that leak. So I know it was an external component that was doing it. Either a hose or it was a, a part that was doing it. But Or it was probably like a thermostat stuck, something like that. It wasn't anything coming from the engine block itself. So I was kind of happy about that. But I'm, I'm still staying on that shit. Man, I might do that $13. No, I don't like that. I mean, it's it's just going to the airport. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. It's going to the airport. I might get a tip on that one because it's going to the airport. I'll do it. So it'll be $14, and that makes about $34, $35. Yeah, so that's at $35. Then at $22, we're at like $57. 57 you had another 20 you had 77 so almost 80 dollars. So i can do all these tips on it so i could turn around and possibly make 100 bucks on these trips one two three four if i can get 100 bucks out of them four trips make each one around about 25 dollars average then i'll be good i'll be good we'll see we'll see it's like i said it's just a quick hundred dollars doing airport runs in the morning no big deal um ain't shit really going on down here right now see what the account's going on they always tell me about this account shit I hate that. Let's see. Let's see. It's expiring soon. All right. I know it. I know it. Before submitting your upload. No, I'm not doing Because last time I uploaded my information, they said it the Because I got I already got my new documents already. So I uploaded my new documents. They said it's too far into the future. I was like, well, quit sending me the shit then. It was like, man, because it was it's like, because it was like 11 6 or 11 7 2023 all the way around to 2024 and they said oh it's too far into the future well quit sending me shit until it's due stop messing with me all the damn time and uber ain't even surging right now so they ain't got shit going on over there let's try something uber x let's see what they're gonna throw me on uber x 24 dollars was like 17 miles nope not doing it i just got down here not doing it Oh, let me turn the volume up. I can't hear shit. Come on, man. Why can't I turn my volume up? Oh, this fucking thing is connected to the phone or something. I don't know. $12 for like 10 miles? Nah, we cool on that. Nope, nope. Still not doing it. They're going to keep sending me shit trips. Let me turn my lights off. $13 for like 16 miles? Nah, we cool on that. We're not doing that either. There we go. Why does it say Spotify? All right, $11 for 50. Nope, we're not doing that either. Man, what the hell's going on with my thing, man? What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. Ten dollars for twelve? Nope, not doing that either. I don't know what the hell's going on with my phone. Like it won't. Forty-five dollars to go all the way to Queen Creek? Nope, doubt it. Let's turn this off real quick. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's wrong with my phone. Like it won't give me. It won't let me turn my volume up so I can hear this shit. What's up? What's up? Let me end this real quick. Figure it out. Started the phone and everything. It'll work. Something will happen. Something because it does like this. It should show something different in the bottom panel, but this shows like a little TV down there, whatever the hell that means. I'm like, eh, it should allow me to be moving my volume up and down, but something screwy's happening to my phone again, his old ragged ass phone. Back to that shit again. All right. As soon as this motherfucker quit like glitching, let's, let's go, let's go. It's creeping very slow. Maybe I shouldn't use it right now. Okay, I can hear it at least. Damn. That's what kind of trash they send me. 416. Nah, we're cool on that shit. Not no UberX shared. Nope. We're not doing UberX shared. Get rid of that. 1320 for 13 miles? Nope. Not doing that either. What else we got? What else we got? Give me something else. 
Let's do like this real quick. They just showed me that one. Queen Creek for $47? No, nah, we're not doing that. It's way too far of a run. Way too far for me to be driving because I don't live down there. I'm not trying to go. If somebody else lives down there, they can have that trip. Turn it down to about there. There we go. Yeah, I'm not trying to drive that far. Like, nope, nope. Now, there's somebody up here that's looking for a ride to get all the way back down there. That ride's for them. That's a $47 ride home for you. Cause we ain't trying to do that. I'm not trying to go way out there. Yes, now we got trip radar. Okay, a dollar for like nine, ten miles. Nah, we could eight dollars for ten miles. There's four dollars, four dollars for a 7.4 mile delivery. Now, 27 minutes, four bucks. 950 for about seven miles. Nope. That's crazy. 27 minutes for four dollars. Man, these deliveries be cracking. And motherfuckers be like, I ain't got to tip you. Yeah, and you ain't going to get that motherfucking delivery. I'll tell you that much now. They said it's no longer available, so they pulled that shit away from everybody. We ain't got to tip you. Yeah, and we ain't got to deliver that shit. We just look at it. We're like, no, nah, we cool. $8.92 for about nine miles. Nope. They ain't got no surge out here. And this is an event going on right now. I don't know what event that is, but I know it's a lot of people down here. I'll tell you that much. $5.22. I don't know, for two miles? Nah, I'm just not feeling that shit. I'm not going down there for that. Say, I'm done with these little five, six dollar fucking seven dollar. These rises, if it was seven dollars for like one mile, yeah. I'm not doing these little tic tac fucking miles because there's like fucking four and five people in the car. When you go down here and pick these people up, there's like four fucking people every time you get there. It's just not enough. Not enough. 844 for like eight and a half miles. Nope. Hey, boy, these trips are just horrible right now. They're horrible right now. $10 for almost 13 miles. Nope. Tell you what, let's go in here and let's open up Lyft real quick. See what Lyft's got going. Because Uber's going to keep sending bullshit for a while. Not now. And they got me in the surge zone. What do we got over here? $14 for 13 miles. Nope. Not going to Scottsdale tonight. Not for that much. You give me like $30, I'll drive out to Scottsdale. But not for no $12. <laughs> it's like, nah. Because they probably charge the person $40, $45 to go out there. $17 for 13 miles. Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. It might be one of those nights where I just don't take shit. Like I said, I, I'll do that. I'll do that. Because we got to show these apps we ain't out here to play no games with them. Every time people are taking these shit rides because they get desperate, the apps are looking for desperate drivers. Why do you think they offer these big ass bonuses? They, oh, a thousand dollars guaranteed if you do this. And the people see, damn, look at same trip again. Look at that. Same trip. All the way to Queen Creek, $44 for like 38 miles. No. And they and these people see that thousand dollars guaranteed. They don't realize that's that's not in addition to. It's guaranteed, which means in 30 days they guarantee you make a thousand dollars. You're gonna make like three thousand dollars and get nothing. I was like, well, I thought I was going to get an extra $1,000. No, that's guaranteed. <laughs> it's like they guarantee you're going to make 1000 and you messed around and made 3000 It's like I, you got to look at these bonuses, and they always catch desperate people to look at these big-ass numbers. $12 for 16 miles? Nah. All these trips are crazy. Like I said, they're, they're giving nothing but, like, nature hikes right now. $16 for 16 miles? Nope. Nah. Cool on that shit. That's the dollar a dollar a mile crowd. That's who they're looking for right now. The dollar a mile crowd. And maybe what I'll start doing is just leaving the house early because I I left at ten thirty tonight. Maybe I need to start going out about you know midnight, drive from midnight till about six in the morning and call that shit good. Because like I said, this night driving used to be a lot more lucrative, but night driving is turning into shit right now. We have five miles for eight bucks. Nah, we cool on that. Yeah, it used to be way more lucrative. Now it's like shitty now. And so, because a lot of people are driving nights and there's a lot of drivers that figured out nights are more efficient. $15 to go to Scottsdale? Nah, it's 14 miles for $15. Nope. And I'm like, nah, I'll just, I gotta start coming out later. Nope. $8 for like eight miles? Nope. Not doing it. Like I said, Uber's gotta get on the ball, man. They gotta get on the ball. They gotta realize. You know, there's a lot of us out here working, but we're working for money. Seven dollars for like five miles. Nope. And right, let's go on lift real quick. Let's see what they got.
was that three dollars for three miles no nah, we're cool yeah let's go off uber real quick we'll be done with uber for a while so uber ain't doing shit anyways right now seven dollars for four miles nah we're cool we ain't doing that either it's like give me something that's like two three miles total that's it i'll be cool with that shit two three miles total for like six seven dollars it's like but this fucking yeah like that shit six miles for eight dollars nah they're just not paying what what anything's worth and that's why a lot of these riders need to start asking drivers for their numbers and shit that nine dollars for like damn near eight nine miles nope because these apps are not paying drivers shit they're taking good fares but they ain't paying us shit so we're not doing the ride so they start paying us and a lot of people are gonna be pissed off you know 10 that's another dollar a mile ride ten dollars for 10 miles going to Scottsdale. nope not doing it not doing it like i said and the cool thing is last night i had a couple of clients the ones that gave me the 20 bucks you know, they gave me their number and everything like that. So they're they're definitely down to become a private, you know, client one of these days. Eight dollars for like seven miles? Nope. I said we don't tolerate this shit, man. We don't tolerate it. If they, the moment the algorithm sees you doing good rides, they're gonna start treating you right. You know what's that? Twelve miles for eleven dollars? Nah. Nope. I'm not even wasting my time with that shit. They gotta have something else going on out here. Because they even got surge going. Look at that, $12 for like over 13 miles. No. Nah. All these rides are for the dollar a mile crowd. $6 for about three and a half miles. Mm -hmm. Nope. Not doing it. Like I said, it's just not enough tips coming through, Lip. Not enough tips coming through. So, when it's these like fucking six, seven miles, I don't mess with them. I don't mess with them. We could be doing a lot better. $15 for like 18 miles? Nope. <clears throat> Doubt it. $15 for 19 miles? Even worse. Nope. My bonus went up to $225. Still nothing. No good. $7 for about five miles? Nah. No, about six actually. It's close to six. I was like, nah, we're good on that. 20, that's going all the way to Queen Creek. Damn, $27 for that to Queen Creek. It was $45 on Uber. <laughs> it's $27 over here. <laughs> it was $45, $44 on Uber. It's $27 on Lyft. They took $20 off that shit. Like, nah. Yeah, let me get off Lyft real quick because that shit's crazy. That shit's crazy. I'm getting off. Lyft is too cheap for me. Fuck that. Cause that Queen Creek ride was $45 on Uber. Exact same fucking ride. And it's 27 on Lyft. It's like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. If that's how y'all want to do people? Yeah, I'm not fucking with y'all Lyft. I'm good. I have to go hang out on UberX for the night. I think y'all just showed y'all ass right there. $6 for like three and a half miles? Nope. Yeah. Lyft, I think I'm done fucking with Lyft. Cause that right there showed me. These motherfuckers out there is, is really charging people up the ass. And ain't giving the drivers none of that. Nope, not doing that. Well, almost five miles or seven bucks. No. And Uber ain't giving no surge right now. So all the shit looks just garbage on Uber right now. But at least Uber's nature hikes are kind of making sense. Like $27, 21 miles, 22 miles. Nah, nah, we're not doing that. Doubt it, doubt it. But that was 27 miles for like, $27 for like 40 miles on fucking Lyft. It's like, man, Lyft is, Lyft is garbage right now. It's real shit. I mean, if you're a Lyft driver, you desperate. And I know a lot of Lyft drivers don't have Uber. They don't, because they got booted from Uber and shit like that. 17 for 12? Nope, I'm cool on that. And that's the only way I would drive Lyft, is I didn't have any other app. That's the only way I would drive if I didn't have any other app. But some people don't have Uber. They don't have delivery, so they got to drive Lyft. I get it. I understand it. Because Uber did some jank shit, too. Those motherfuckers was booting people off. That $6 for five miles? Nope. They booting people off and doing weird shit and all that, too. So I get it. I get it. But we got to teach these fucking apps, man. We don't play this shit. $14 to go to 10 feet? Nope. I can sit there all night and do this shit. Fuck that. $8 for like five miles? Nope. That was just $6 a minute ago. It, it jumped up about two bucks. So it's slowly inc they increasing the fares right now because that, that was about $6 for the same shit. No, almost 18 miles to $12? Nah. 
I did a trip like that to the exact same area for sixty dollars. Yeah, sixty bucks. Fourteen dollars for eleven miles. Nope. Yeah, because that exact same area where that last trip was trying to go, I did a trip like that for sixty bucks. The people gave me like a fifteen dollar tip or something like that. Thirty five dollars for like thirty miles. Nah. It's like not even worth it. Not even worth it. Eight ninety five for about eight miles. Nope. So you just got to kind of, you know, wait till the bangers start coming, you know, the $12 for three miles, $17 for 18 miles. Nope. It's almost 19 miles or 17 bucks. Let's say at some point, the algorithm has to see that we're declining all of this shit. We're tanking our ARs right now. $5 for three miles. Nah, nah. Y'all got to throw some surge out there. Do something different. What else we got coming down the pipe? $26 for 21 miles About 22 miles Nah Like I said these trips are for people that's ready to leave downtown And don't want to come back Because I'm not driving 26 miles away Or 22 miles away to turn around and come back for $26 That's 44 miles for $26 And I'm not trying to drive no 44 miles for $26 4 miles for $5 Nah We're cool on that That's not 2 miles away That's right around a the corner They said it's 2 miles away Unless it's going to go get them and bringing them back. Okay, I saw what that was. So I was driving up to get them to bring them all the way back to where I am. Yeah, $14 for 20 miles. Nope. See, we can do this shit all night. And I'm not taking none of it. $21 for 18 miles. Nope. Like I said, these are all nature hikes of people that's going in those directions. That's why I don't mind giving that money away. Because there's people that live out there that are probably done with the night. They've probably been driving all day. They're looking for a ride to get home. All these are your rides home. They're going far north, far west, far south. That shit right there. Eight, nobody's taking that shit right there. $8 for eight miles? Nah. Like I said, and I'm just, I'm just one of those drivers that, you know, I don't tolerate that shit. $15 to go to Tempe? That was just $14 a minute ago. It, going, it went up a dollar. Nope. So they, they slowly moving all the prices up because I'm declining the shit out of them. So they jumping them up $2, $1. They moving shit up to see what I'm going to take. They testing my patience right now. $7 for five miles? Nope. At some point, they're going to get tired of me sitting here. What was that? $5 for like three miles? Nope. They're going to be like, Jeff, just take a ride. Take a ride. Just pay me, motherfucker. Pay me. Otherwise, this car don't fucking move. It's already leaking goddamn cooling and shit. You motherfuckers running my shit into the ground. Fucking pay me, motherfucker. $12 with like 11 miles. Nope. And that's almost by my house. No, that's, yeah, that's close to. But nah, I'm not 10 bucks to go back home. Fuck no, nah, I just got down here. Y'all gonna be like 30 bucks to go back home. Fuck that shit. Is it at some point they gotta throw surge out? Because if we keep declining shit, $17 for 12 miles. Nope. At some point, they're going to have to throw surge up because if nobody's taking these rides, because they keep sending me the same rides over and over. $13 for like 17 miles. Nope. That's the one I did for 60 bucks to that same area right there. And they, they gave them $13. I did it for 60 bucks. It was 45. Then they gave me a tip on top of that. And it came out to like $60 for that same ride. So now they're going to give it to me for $13. <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm cool. You know, just take the money. Nah, I'm cool. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. I'll go deliver some fucking hot dogs later on. I ain't doing that shit. $10 to go to Scottsdale. 13 miles. Nope. Nope. And this car is coming the wrong way down the street. These motherfuckers are nuts. This He just drove the whole way down. $13 for 10 miles? Nah. This motherfucker just drove the whole way down the street in the wrong direction. That's fucked up. I'm facing south. All traffic is facing south. Three dollars for a mile and a half? Nah. And this motherfucker right here, man, the wrong way all the way down the street. Shit's crazy. These people are nuts. Fucking nuts. They can't pay attention to see all cars are facing south on both sides of the street, and they need to come driving north up the street. <laughs> Fourteen dollars for like nineteen miles. Doubt it. That shit's also a doubt. $13 for 18 miles? Nope. I wonder what my AR is by now. 30% or 31. No, it's got to be lower than that. $5 for two miles? Nope. It's got to be lower than that. 
They got to throw some surge out there somewhere. They got all these rides coming through, but they ain't got no surge nowhere. We ain't taking this shit. $38 to go all the way to Gilbert. Nah, we don't think so. We're not going that far. That's 31 miles way out there. Nah, we good. We're good. We're good. What else you got? Like I said, I might just be stuck doing reservations in the morning because this shit's all garbage. $10 for about seven miles. Nope. And it's sad because oh, $15 for 21 miles. Nope. Because if people tip more often, we be taking these rides. But like I said, everybody's tired of tipping culture. We tired of broke culture. So, you know, we had a stalemate right now. We tired of broke motherfuckers. They tired of tipping. What, what can we say? We had a stalemate. These rides ain't worth shit to us. The apps ain't paying us. They, the riders are paying good money for rides. The apps just ain't paying us. So it's like, hey, we don't fuck with it. That's just what it is. This is what it is. Like, Y'all can be tired of tipping culture all you want. Shit, we tired of broke people culture. <laughs> it's like... $21 for 18 miles? Nope. They keep sending the same rides over and over. These people are trying to get a ride home bad as a motherfucker. It's like, nope, we ain't, I ain't taking them. I've seen the same rides like a few times over and over. Nope. Five miles for six books? Doubt it. They're going to be sitting there like, dude, just take a ride, man. Take a ride. Nope. I don't bend for these apps. Fuck these apps. I do not bend. I've been doing pretty well doing it my way. $5 for two miles. Mm, it's real interesting, but nah. Not doing it. He's like, man, that's like two, three dollars a mile. He has a waste of my fucking time. I'm cool where I'm at right now. I'm cool. Eight dollars for seven. For no, ten miles. Damn, almost eleven miles for eight dollars. Thirteen dollars for like twenty miles. Nope. They gotta throw surge up at some point, or else these rides ain't gonna get. Like I said, they don't make money if we don't make money. What's that? Six miles for eight dollars? Nope. At some point, they gotta throw surge up here. Fourteen dollars for fourteen miles? Nope. All right, let's do something real quick. Let's turn this shit off. Now, when I turn it back on, my AR should change. It's at thirty-one percent right now. I think it'll change when I turn it back on. So let's go on lift. Let's see what these raggedy motherfuckers talking about. Because they're like, Jeff. Let's see some. Let's see what the hell they talking about over here. On this side of the equator looking ass motherfucker. All right. And they probably going to throw $10 for 10 miles. Knew it right off the bat. And this car is coming the wrong way anyways. Here's another wrong way driver. What the fuck? That's the second wrong way driver since I've been sitting here. $12 for 15 miles, 14 miles? Nope. Doubt it. Oh, they figured it out. Now they turn it around. <laughs> they figured it out. It's like, oh shit. $12, 15 miles? Nope. Doubt it. Doubt it. $13 for about 16 miles? Nope. Nope. Either pay up or stay up. One of the two. You can stay right where you at. Yeah, I'm going to do a couple of more rides. I got to head over to Circle K. I got to give me something to eat. Like I said, I just showered when I got up and hit the road. I got to grab me something to eat. $5 for that. No, nah, that's going in the wrong direction anyways. $5 for two miles. Nope. This is the party district down here, so a lot of these rides got, like I said, three, four people riding for five bucks. I ain't ready to deal with that shit. I'm really not. Motherfuckers jumping all in my car, dirty them, my mats and shit, feet all over the fucking place for five dollars. No, I'm cool. And because, like I said, it's nothing but clubs and shit going. Another car going the wrong way. This is this is this is the third fucking car going the wrong way since I've been sitting here. They're gonna end up running into somebody head on. That's the third car that's going the wrong way. Six dollars for three miles? Nope. Doubt it. This is a fucking danger spot over here. What the fuck, man? And they can't tell that cars on both sides of the streets are all facing the same way. They just can't even... Man, I swear people are fucking idiots out here. Idiots. Six dollars for almost four miles? Nah. If something's going back over towards Circle K, I'll take it. All these rides are going north. I need something going like maybe Roosevelt going towards the east. I'll take it. That's where Circle K is. I'm going to go over there. Hang out at Circle K for a while. Because all these rides are trash. 
fourteen dollars for like fifteen miles. Nah, we could. We ain't going to Scottsdale anyways. I was about to say, ooh, another one now. That truck turned the right way at least. It's fucking crazy. Seven dollars for five miles. Nope. Nope. Doubt it. Ten dollars for eleven miles. Nope. All right, I'm thinking I'm done with these motherfuckers for a while. Because they ain't sending shit anyways. My lips me some music. Go grab me a motherfucking Krusty Dusty. I'm done dealing with they ass. They did not just give me that damn ride. I did not accept that ride. They so full of shit. I have no idea what the hell they talking about. Yeah, I don't want that ride. They just tried to give me a damn ride that I didn't even accept. I was like, y'all trying to fucking mind. I had declined because I didn't want the motherfucker, and they just gave it to me like, no, no. So I'm sitting here at the Circle K chilling. They still sending shit like this all fucking night. Same old shit, raggedy shit. Let me turn Liv off. Because Liv, they had me in a surge a second ago. Now they don't have me in one, so I'm getting offline. I don't deal with Lyft. With no surge, do not drive Lyft. Trust me. It's a waste of fucking time. Complete waste of time. Uber tried to send me some shit earlier. But like I said, I got to wait till my reservation start because there's really nothing out right now. So hopefully I'm going to get some good good tips on these reservations because it ain't shit out. I think I'm just going to start coming out and start driving like probably round about, I don't know, probably two in the morning. Because I'm not going to be doing no fucking, you know, 9.30. No, nah, I'll probably do 2 o'clock in the morning to about 7. And just let that be my new fucking schedule. 1 or 2 in the morning to about 7. So I can do all the club traffic. Where it's surging and shit like that. And then go from there and, and really start getting some good stuff. Because, you know, I used to come out about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. Now it is completely dead. It's dead like almost every fucking night. Because these apps are not paying. They're just not paying right now. And they're really trying to get people to stay out, you know in daylight hours because they want to get people stuck in traffic they want to have you doing all these little shit trips they're throwing surge in the daytime which is cool i just don't want to be sitting in traffic all day i just don't like day traffic i'm a night driver now we got a lot of night drivers out and it's kind of like the surge is drowning because everybody's just sitting on the apps a lot because like i said i just i turn my shit off and on all the time like right now there's no surge anywhere i know i got my reservations coming up so i might just you know look i'm down to 25 percent now just go offline, like, shh, not even worry about the shit, like, I'll go back online later, with Lyft, they had, they had me sitting in surge at first, and they pulled it away, but it wasn't nothing anyways, it wasn't worth shit, no, there's absolutely nothing, and they're saying this little event right here is supposed to be letting out, what, probably about 12.40, so in about 20 minutes, it'll be letting out, so 11.10 to 12.40 is when it's supposed to be jumping, I'm not touching it. I'm just not touching it. Not until it really starts, you know, surging and being worth my time. Let's see how bad all these trips are. Was it $10 for about nine miles? Nope. Nope. Not doing it. I'm telling you, it's, it's been a horrible night. A horrible night. Is it $17 for like 22 miles? This is how it's going. I. Saturday nights are probably not where it's at. I'm just going to have to do my reservations early in the morning and not even deal with this shit. $13? Yeah, no. If it was like $16, I'd do it. Because I need to get down to Tempe anyway because my reservations are going to start at about 3 But I'm going to at least get some of the money from down here while I'm down here. See look at that. It's $14 for like almost 20 miles. It ain't worth it. Nope. It's like they're just man, seventeen dollars for like twenty three miles, almost twenty four miles. No, these people are crazy. I'm like, what the hell are they doing? All fucking nature hikes. No, I'm not. No, I'm just gonna turn this shit off because it's something about to go down. Because like I said, at twelve forty, it's gonna start jumping. They're trying to get all the nature hikes out right now. This is, your insurance has expired. Let's add it now. Let's go add this shit. Just so they'll stop fucking messing with me about it. Okay, upload photo. Choose a photo. Let's go to albums. Browse. Let's go find out where the hell my insurance is. Progressive insurance. There we go. Let's do that one. Save it. Now let's see if they'll let me actually drive. They'll say, hey, okay. All right, all right, all right. 
So, okay. They're all set to drive. Cool. Hopefully they don't hit me back going, hey, your insurance is a day late, like, or a day too early. They did that shit last time. Pester me for it. Then he's like, man, $8 for seven miles? Nope. And these are with, like, surges included. I'm like, this shit is crazy. With surges included? Man, it should be like $9 for, like, four miles. Look at that. $18, mi $18 for, like, 21 miles almost. This is just, this is atrocious. These these fares are fucking atrocious. $10 for like almost nine miles. This is nuts. Nobody's trying to do these long ass trips for this price. And they're taking good money for these trips. Look at that, $10 to the airport and then turn around. Nah, that's 12 miles, no. Picking up somebody from the airport. Nah, I'm cool, nope. This airport driver's probably sitting over there right now. It's like, use them. What the hell are you using me for? Look at this. $6 for like about three and a half miles. And that's with a surge. It's like, nope. And these people are all probably leaving like the concert areas and stuff like that because they got some Circus Soleil shit going on. I'm not doing none of these trips. No, not for the prices they're talking about. They've got to they've gotta get their rates up because our AR is going to keep going down until they get their rates up and everybody's got to participate in that shit. And I know a lot of people are like, well, we don't have money to just be declining rides. Trust me, I get it. I understand, man. But the more we take shit rides, the more they're going to do this shit to us. Look at that dollar a mile ride. Saturday night, it's one o'clock in the morning, dollar a mile still. We can't take that shit. We can't deal with that because they're taking good money for these rides. They're taking really good money for these rides and they're not giving us a fair shake on it. So no, nah, I'm not doing these rides. I know what people are paying for it. Look at that, $13 for like 15 miles. Not Saturday night, almost one o'clock in the morning. No, nah. cool on that shit. We not doing that. We not doing that. Then we got what? Uber's got to have something coming up pretty soon. Let's see, what did it? No, nah, I still ain't got shit going on this. So let's go over to Uber. Wait a minute, what is that? $13 for 13 miles. Nope. Not doing it. They got to do better. They got to do better. You know, at some point, they'll start getting their rates right. Like I said, it's going up to $4 for the surge and shit like that. But they got to get their rates right. Without their rates right, nobody's touching this shit. Hopefully, nobody's touching it. Because they're trying to starve drivers out. They're trying to make us desperate enough to take this shit. That's why they don't want to send out good rides. And especially a driver like me. Look at that, $18 for like almost 23 miles. It's like, no, I'm not going way down there for no $18. Like, no, because they probably charge the person like $50, $60 for that shit. And they're going to give me $18 out of it. It's like, no, I'm cool. $12 for like almost 18 miles for that? No. Nah. Don't think so. Don't think so. They're not, just the rides just aren't worth it. They're just not worth it. And I know the people are probably sitting around like, man, we can't never get a ride. We can't get a ride. And you won't get a ride because right now Lyft is hurting so bad. They want to cheapskate everybody so they can kind of siphon off the rides. They want to charge people a lot, give the drivers almost nothing just so they can start making their money back. Look at that. Like nine, eight, nine miles for 10 bucks. Nope. And nobody's doing this shit. Nobody's doing these rides right now. And Lyft is like hurting for cash. So they've got to try to get people to take these rides by saying, hey, man, well, look at that dollar a mile again. Almost one o'clock in the morning, $13 for 13 miles. It's like nobody's doing this shit. Lyft fucked up. If, if they was doing Lux, all these rides would be taken. If they were doing Lux, they wouldn't make as much money, but at least they make something. And now they want to put that shit on us. Well, at least you're going to make something. No, I ain't making shit. Look at that. Seven miles for nine bucks. No. They're like, well, take those rides, Jeff. At least you're going to make something. No, we need to tell the apps that shit. Just put it back on Lux. At least you got $16 for like over 20 miles. Put it back on Lux. At least you're going to make something if it's on Lux apps. It's like, but no, when you take this shit off, no. You're not making nothing. We ain't making nothing. We're going to see who, who fucking starves who out. What is that? Four miles for seven? No. Nah. Like I said, it's Saturday night. It's Saturday night right now. It's about to be one o'clock in the morning, and this is the best they can do. It's like, nope. $8 for what? Four miles? It's about $2 a mile right there. I just don't feel like going up there. Nope. I don't feel like going up there because that's four miles away because I got to go two miles up to it, then two miles. So I'm four miles away from downtown. I'm not trying to be four miles away from downtown. It's 
It's like if they want to give me somebody like a half mile down the street, then two miles north, cool, I'll do that shit. But that's four miles from downtown, which means I got to come back. That's eight miles round trip, eight miles for $8. That's a dollar a mile. And I'm not trying to do a dollar a mile. And I'm not trying to do trips where they're going to drop me off at because they're going to drop me off outside of a surge zone. Four miles away from here is no surge out there. So it's like, it'll be pointless. $13 for like almost 12 miles. Nope. And we got to learn how to battle like this. This is a fight. It's a war. The shit ain't supposed to be easy. It's going to be a bloody fucking battle. Like $16 for like, what, 15 miles almost? Nah. It's, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a little war. And we got to let these motherfuckers know this is not what we stand for. $10 for like, what, seven miles? Nope. And if they're willing to sit down and lose all this money and they're willing to let their company go into the hole, then that's on them. That's on them. Because the drivers are the ones out here making this money. We make the money for them. They don't make the money for us. We make the money. Like $11 for what? Six miles, seven miles almost? Nah, it's too far north. Because that's taking me out of the surge probably too. So I'm not trying to do that. Because when you go way up north, you're not going to be in surge at all. It's going to have you outside of the surge though. Eight dollars for about three miles. Nah, don't want it. Don't want it. Like I said, they could do better. They could do better. Because the good rides are gonna have to start up pretty soon. Because right now these are up. The event just ended. It's almost one o'clock. The event ended. They should be doing something. They got four dollar bonus right now. So they gotta spread that shit open, make it an eight dollar bonus, nine dollar bonus. They gotta figure something out. Because right now, they're not doing well with rides. Because, I mean, these these fares, they ain't worth even taking for nobody. Look at that. 26 damn miles. 26 miles for 20 bucks. And that's with a $4 bonus. Ain't nobody trying to do that. People are like, no, nah, I'm not doing that long-ass fucking nature hike. Look at that. Seven miles for nine bucks. Nope. Let's go back in the Uber real quick. Because like I said, I got my Uber money coming in the morning. So I'm just sitting here chilling, waiting till my Uber shit start. If somebody wants to work with me right now, then work with me right now. But if you ain't willing to put money up, we're not doing it. I'm not driving. See, the event should be letting out right about now. Let me make sure I'm on Uber Pet. $10 for like eight miles. Nope. And Uber ain't got no surge out, so... Look at that. Nine dollars for nah. Eight miles. I mean, was that twelve, almost thirteen miles? Nope. I don't know what Lyft has, but it ain't worth shit any fucking ways. Look at that. Four miles for eight dollars. Told you it ain't worth shit anyways. They don't have much going on on Lyft. They don't got much going on. Either app really. Both apps are kind of doing the same shit right now. And they keep bouncing these surges back and forth, back and forth, like it's going to make a difference. Nobody's really taking this shit. And that $12 ride right there, that's probably about 16, 17, 18 fucking miles, something like that. Ain't nobody trying to do that either. Nobody's messing with these rides. One o'clock in the morning, they still paying, you know, a dollar a mile or less than a dollar a mile on a Saturday night. Saturday night. Look at that. 16 miles for $14. Saturday night. Ain't nobody trying to do that. And they charging these people a good penny. They charging people some good money for these rides. And that's the that's the bullshit. They think we don't know what people are paying. Look at that. $8 for like five miles. Nope. They probably charge a person $22, $23. And gonna give us $8 of it. It's like, nah, you can fucking, hopefully they get a ride home. Because we ain't dealing with that shit. Nobody's dealing with it. $9 for about five and a half miles. Nope. Say, ain't nobody really dealing with that shit. Nobody's dealing with it. See, now they ain't got no surge at all downtown. So with no surge, yeah, Lyft is straight trash. Where they got stuff down in Avondale. I think that's down by the Speedway. No, the Speedway's further than that. I think it's way further than that. Yeah, it's way down here south somewhere. So, yep. So what we're going to do is turn lift since they have no surge downtown at all. We're just going to turn them off because they're not, like I said, they have a hard enough time with regular rides. 
with no surge. No, they're really trash. Let's turn it back on Uber real quick. Turn it off Paw Patrol. See what they got. I'm down to what? 23% AR. I'm probably going to be up under 20% by the time this night is over. Man, it's straight trash. Straight. I made seven bucks so far. But like I said, I got about $100 worth of reservations sitting out there. So I don't care. What is that? Going all the way to Scottsdale for $16? Nope. Not doing it. $16 for 12 miles? Nope. Like I said, get me to Tempe for 15 Uber X share. Look at this shit. It's like nine miles away for three miles. It's like 14 miles for goddamn four forty nine. Fourteen 14 damn miles for four dollars. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is the shit. And this Saturday night, these motherfuckers are funny. They funny. They ain't nobody trying to do that. You better catch somebody in your area. If you're trying to Uber X share for a trip that short, you better catch somebody down the street from you. Because ain't nobody coming no nine, ten miles away to do a four dollar trip. Look at that. Fifteen dollars to go down to Tempe. Ah, right, fuck it. Let's do it. I was asking for it and they gave it to me. So I was like, I'll go to Tempe for 15 bucks. All right. Let's go pick up Sean. I'm going to go to Tempe because that's where my reservations are. So I'm going to go down there and just work down there tonight. Like I said, because it ain't shit down here at all. So, yep. Let's see. Where are we going? Just right down the street. All right. Down to Cesarac. All right. Let's go pick up Sean real quick. See what the hell these motherfuckers is up to down there. Okay, so now I'm back in Tempe. It's a quick $15 ride right there. I mean, it didn't take me that long because y'all know how I drive. I be getting it. Shit only took me like, what, 15 minutes, basically. <laughs> it was like, I was kind of getting it. They didn't care. Motherfuckers love how I drive anyways. But now I'm in this 350 boost zone from 1 o'clock till like 2 o'clock. They probably won't send me a ride just because I'm in a $3.50 boost zone. And that's what they do. Whenever you can make extra money, they make sure they throttle your ass so you don't get no extra money. It's like, no, you don't need money, Jeff. You don't need it. See, I got Uber X share on right now. I'm not on Paw Patrol. So as crazy as they were sending me rides down there the whole time, you think they'd be doing the same shit down here while I'm in the boost zone. But as you can see, my phone ain't even going off right now. That's how they do. 314, thank you for the tip, brother. Appreciate it, appreciate it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Wait a minute. How was that? Now it's going right back down to Phoenix. All the way back down there with a 350 boost included. 350 boost for 12 bucks. So they're paying $9. They paid 15 for me to get down here, but nine for me to get back. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm not taking that shit. Fuck no. So I got 1873 for that one. Cool, cool. See, now I'm in the boost. See, they paid me $15 fare to come down, 15 bucks. But see, the 12 they just tried to give me included the 350 sir, so it was $9. Look at this, 1018, that's with a 350 boost right there. 1018 for five miles? Nah, I don't want it. I'm cool. And that's the thing, they, they try to be cheap and shit when you're in like these boost zones or whatever. Because I got 350 per ride, so I should be getting at least $2 a mile if I'm getting 350 a, a ride. So if it ain't, you know, $2 a mile, I probably only want to deal with it. Because like I said, I'm in a real tight area because they probably be down on Mill Avenue right now partying. So I'm going to cruise around here and see how it's looking, see if it's a lot of people out or whatever. If it is, I'll set up shop at the Jack in the Box, kick back for a while. But normally, like I said, when you're in this area, you're going to get a whole bunch of small short bangers. They just got me down here for $15. 18 with a tip and they trying to send me back down there for 12 dollars it's like no nah, i'm cool on that shit man and like i said that was with a 350 uh bonus on it so nine bucks to send me back downtown nine bucks it's like no nah, man fuck that nope i'm down here now you had me downtown already could have worked me down there could have made some really good money but now that i'm on this side i'm not going back downtown i've been downtown for the night my reservations start here I think, let me make sure, hold up for a second, let me go and make sure, because if they are downtown, then I'm like, shit, nine bucks for that, nine bucks for four miles, no, I'm not going around the corner, I'm not doing that, yeah, so East Portland Street, okay, so my reservations are actually at four o'clock in the morning, they're actually downtown, so that's not too bad, it's not too bad, they're downtown, but it's like Portland Street, which is an easy, easy place to be. And I can easily get there from where I am. Portland Street is not that far. Not as far as I was. I was really deep in there. But yeah, it's like these little short ass trips they doing. Nah, three, four miles. Because like I said, 
three and a half miles north because I would have to go a mile to where I'm going right now, then another three and a half miles north. So pretty much I'd be going like almost four miles away from where I am right now. And I'm not trying to be four miles away from where I am right now. I don't mind being two miles maybe, something like that. But to be four miles away, that means I got to come four miles back for nine dollars so it's an eight dollar it's an eight mile trip for 9.99 is basically what it turns into so i'm not trying to do that it's like i can i know the math and i know the layout of this city that's why i'd rather have two miles three miles shit like that that way if it's two three dollars a mile i can actually come back and it'd still be you know pretty good like something like that where is that at that's a quarter mile north going three miles south nah i'm cool on that shit i don't want that it's got to be something else up here that's easier than that. So I'll find something that's a quarter mile away. And it's probably going to be like, you know, a mile and a half, two miles for like seven bucks. See, $13 for five miles? Nah, I'm not trying to go up to Scottsdale right now. I'm not trying to go up there right now. I know a lot of people are like, oh, man, you kicking all these trips out? Because I'm not dealing. I already got my reservations set. So if they're going to have me do something, at least make it worth my while. Look at that. $12 go back down. They just sent me that. That's why they killed it real quick. They was like, oh, shit, we already sent them that. <laughs> it was like, pull that away from them. We already sent them that already. Yeah, you already sent me that shit. Try to send that again. I'm not taking it. So, yeah, so I'm going to end up probably kicking up, kicking back at this Jack in the Box right here. And like I said, my reservation starting in the morning. Just out cruising around, enjoying my night, man, listening to music. Ain't no big deal. It was one of them Saturday. Even the dudes that got in the car, I just took them. They were like, man, it's dead today. I'm like, yeah, because last night was first Friday, and everybody was kicking and shit like that. Five miles to Mesa? Nah, I'm not going to Mesa right now. Yeah, but and everybody was like, oh, man, it was dead, man. I'm like, yeah, it was dead, man. It was pretty dead. So now they're like, you know, it was Halloween last week, so everybody was partying all week last week. Then we had first Friday yesterday. So this is the first Saturday when people can really like actually take a break, like take a fucking breather. And so that's why I think people are doing it, just taking a breather right now. 883. No, I'm not going no four miles up Scottsdale Road. No, doubt it. I'm going to the dorms and shit like that. Like if it's something that's going to the dorms or whatever, I'll do it. Nope, not doing that either. So they keep trying to give me these fucking nature hike ass trips and they're like many nature hikes they're like four miles five miles like no nah, i'm not doing all that shit you got me where i am you could have worked me downtown and everything like that but you didn't so now i'm gonna come kick it right here and like i said i'm not really in the mood to drive that much any fucking ways i just don't feel like putting a lot of miles on my shit tonight because i know i had that leak last night so i'd rather just kick back relax chill do some short trips that's worth something I'm gonna check the car, inspect it later on to make sure it's not leaking again. I don't wanna get caught up doing a million fucking trips and fuck my car up. Okay, 11, nah, I'm not going no six fucking miles away. Nope, 11.48 to go six miles away, nah. We cool on that. I could do 10 bucks for like two miles. I could do something like that. That's about as far as I wanna drive, really. So if they could just get the get the trips right and let's do it. Let's get it right. Because I'm not trying to do no crazy driving tonight. All my appointments are pretty short, too. Six dollars for about two miles. Uber X share. Mm, I could, but I don't want to. I'm not doing Uber X share tonight. So you can try that shit with somebody else. Uber's doing that. I guarantee them people didn't look up Uber X share. I guarantee Uber said, just put it on Uber X share. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not doing Uber X share for y'all. Because it was $3.50 with the boost anyways. You know, Uber X share came through. So what, the $3 trip? No, no. There's probably going to be four fucking people anyways. So I'm not worried about it. Six sixty-seven for that. Hmm. No, nah, I don't want that. I was going to take it because it's only a mile and a half, but I'm like, I'm done with that shit. I was doing $6 and $7 trips last night. I just don't feel like dealing with that shit tonight. And I ended up making like 70 bucks or something like that on like fucking 10 trips. Something stupid like that. I'm like, I'm not doing that shit tonight. I'm not doing no 10 fucking trips on no 70 bucks. But then I got the $20 tip. So it was like 90 bucks. So almost $10 a trip total last night. Pretty close to $10 a trip. So tonight I'm just kind of kicking back, relaxing, waiting on my reservation to start. 
you know, I slept all day, got up, worked on the car a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I just don't feel like driving for no shitty money right now. So I'm not taking no shitty money right now. It's like, if I felt like driving, going balls to the walls, chasing a challenge or a surge or a quest or some shit like that, I'd do it. But I'm not doing none of that shit. So it's like, no, nah, if you ain't paying me, I'm not moving. It's just how it is. I can start driving really good next week because this week was pretty much, I kind of took the week off. Really, I didn't really do shit all week. I kind of took the week off. Just so happened. I mean, what, $120 this week? I just didn't feel like driving all fucking week just because, you know what? It was a it was a really rough month last month driving a lot. So I made, what, $120 on Uber. I don't know what the fuck I made on Lyft. Probably way less. I got a $1 tip. Nice work. Whatever, motherfucker. You know, damn why I ain't get no dollar tip. 118 over here. So I made about $240 last week. 240 bucks ain't bad. 240 bucks is not that bad. Not for the amount of hours that I drove because I didn't really do shit. <laughs> I went like two and a half hours driving this shit. I was just like, whatever, man. Like I said, next week I'll probably hit them for about, you know, 50. Because last week I drove, I made about 12, 1300 last week. This week about 240 so far. So next week I'll probably hit them for another, you know, thousand bucks. Like, as I'm just cruising right now, pacing myself, you know, through the winter right now, I'm just not doing nothing crazy, not a lot of crazy driving. Look at that. All the way back downtown. All the way back downtown for $8. Yeah, right. I just came down here for $15 or $18. I'm not going back for $8. Like, no. This is funny shit. Look at that. Then $8 for like 10 miles, over 10, almost 11. It's like, no. Let me turn off Lyft. Lyft, they always do some shit like that. Lyft's not ready yet. And yeah. I don't really drive Lyft that much because they just, I don't know. Lyft is on some other shit. When they when they figure out how to get their, you know, app together, where to get their prices right, get their price points right, and I'll drive Lyft more. But so 1 to 2 a.m., I get 350 Then 2 a.m. to 3, I get $3. Then I got my 4 o'clock, my 440 Six thirty, I'm a seven, and that's the last one. Then Sunday, I just kind of kick back and relax. Like I said, next week I'll start driving. Next week, seeing how much I can make next week. This week was just kind of like ah, I was a blah ass week, very blah. Because like I said, we had Hollow Week all last week, so Hollow Week is where everybody was dressed up doing crazy shit. Everybody's just kind of like burnt out. Then this weekend, people are just you know out of money, done paying rent. Ain't nobody really doing shit. They just covered bills, you know. A couple of days ago today is the fifth so rent should be paid by the fifth ain't nobody really got money to do shit next week it'll be fucking jumping so next week is when i'll be ready to go out and drive because even the concerts this week were dead because nobody was really out driving when nobody was paying them people just had to pay rent and shit they ain't trying to be paying you know tips and all this other crazy shit so you know next week will be a better week it'll be when i'll actually go out and try to make some money where are we at Let's see, it ain't shit out there anyways. Yeah. It ain't shit out there anyways. Let's turn this motherfucker off. Kick back and relax for a second. Listen to some music. It was super slow last night. I did only what? I did about $160 last night because I did what? 99 plus 58. Because these were my morning appointments that I wrapped up. So it was like 58. So that was about 160 there. And I think I got about 10, like $8 over on Lyft or something like that. But I did it in 10 trips. I did five, you know, early morning reservations. And I did five regular trips last night. So average about 16 bucks a trip. But it was, I mean, it was super slow. It was garbage slow last night. I mean, the trips were easy, like, you know, $17 airport run, 4.6 miles, $20, 3.7. And most of these hours already in the area. And that's how I was setting it up. So like, even like this one, the 2070, how I dropped them off at the airport, like right above the airport on the Van Buren. Cause they were actually going to Sedona. So I dropped them off at this travel company that's gonna take them to Sedona. And then my next one was just right up the road. So from 16 to seven, I probably went like a mile and picked up uh, that lady and got her to the airport. But like, you know, 5.9 miles, you know, 30 bucks for that one. And it was, that was another airport run I did. It was a quick four mile one. Now these two connected to each other. I think it was the six mile. No, it was this one, the seven mile and that one connected. Because I had to take this 7.8 mile trip. Yeah, I think that was it. Yep, not that one. That one was something else. So it's a 7.8 mile trip. And it brought me back towards, you know, Phoenix. 
towards Tempe. I dropped off like right on 44th Street, but then I shot up over to downtown and dropped down to the airport. So I was trying to link trips together last night just to make sure I wasn't using a ton of dead miles screwing around. That I wasn't sitting too long far away. I mean, I would be sitting like 0.8 of a mile away from my reservation and it would be like 20 minutes till. So I just didn't even leave the parking lot till it was like maybe 10 minutes. And now I'll say, okay, I'll drive in because there's no use in me sitting in front of somebody's house for 20 minutes. So I just sat in parking lots. It was just, it was that dead last night. I mean, it was all these short hops, 1.4 miles, like eight bucks, $9 for it. And it was all these little short Tempe rides, 981. That one was 11 miles right there. That was downtown bringing me all the way back to Tempe so I can get started in Tempe. But I mean, it was it was dead. I mean, I did 10 trips last night, basically. 10 trips starting about what? Right about, okay, here, that one. So it was that one. And then, so I went from 12.54, roughly till about seven in the morning. So from about one o'clock to seven, about six hours, just kind of putzing around, hanging out. I didn't come home because I was like, you know, never close to my house. So I really didn't come home. I just kind of sat by Quick Trip. I sat by Circle K, just didn't do a whole lot. And it was, like I said, it was dead. It was like literally dead last night. And usually it, it's a lot quicker on a Saturday night. I mean, I basically did, you know, those five and those five because that started like early in the morning. So I made 99 bucks from you know, probably after 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. my last ride. So everything else was right here. From like 1 till 4 was about 58 bucks. Just kind of sitting around. I was on YouTube. I was just kind of going over my car, inspecting it, making sure it wasn't leaking and stuff like that. So I would drive it, park it, let it sit for like 30 minutes while it cooled down. I would have the apps turned off and everything. So it was just, and here I was online for almost five hours, just letting it run. I had it on uh, Paw Patrol trying to pick up surges, which reminds me, I was on Paw Patrol. I grabbed a surge. Check this out. All right, here's my help there. So I was emailing these idiots right here. Check this out. So I grabbed the surge and I said, hey, earnings and payments, this and that. Connect to an agent, whatever. I connected to him. And I said, I did a trip and my surge was missing. And I had a 725 surge. I was on Paw Patrol. I caught a surge real quick. I was like, cool, I'm going to get that. No problem. Look at that. AR down to 17%. I was declining everything last night. So the guy was like, hey, let me see what I can do. Blah, blah, blah. All of this crazy shit. Hey, allow me two to three minutes, whatever. Then he was just saying how, you know, thanks for being patient, all that crap. But he said, I want to transfer it to a specialized team. Got to be with you within six to 12 hours. They no longer do it like immediately right there. They transfer it because they think I'm going to forget about it. That's what they hoping. Well, I'll just tell them we'll fix it in about six to 12 hours and he'll just forget all about it. I'm not forgetting about shit. That's seven dollars and twenty five cents that I should have had on one of my trips. So they didn't put it on there. And they got to get back to me. So I'm going to check my email to see if they send me something. That was at, what, 625 in the morning. So I'm going to see if they'll send me something. But like I said, these motherfuckers, they'll be, they will try shit on you. They will try shit. You got to stay on top of them. You got to stay on top of them. Otherwise, you know, that's $7.25 on a slow night. So that'll put me at about 106, 107 right there. And they're, I mean, it's not much, but seven bucks is like, you know, about an eighth of a tank of gas for me. An eighth of a tank of gas, I can make like a hundred bucks. So I can take that 725 and make like a hundred bucks on it. So I want my 725 because that's my investment money. You're giving me my motherfucking money. That's what you're going to do.